Over the last year, we've seen promises stretched and promises broken. But here's something new. A promise that comes pre-broken. Secretary of State for Work and Pensions, Ian Duncan Smith, is about to bring in the biggest shake-up of the welfare system for decades. It's called Universal Credit, and it does away with a whole list of current benefits, such as job seekers allowance, income support, and tax credits, in favour of a single benefit for people of working age. The idea is to simplify administration, increase take-up of entitlements, and make people better off in work. That all sounds good. But given he expects to save £18 billion out of this, can Ian Duncan Smith still ensure security for some of the most vulnerable people in our society? Can he make a change like this without making people worse off? Well, he certainly says it's possible. On the 17th of February, he made this promise on the Today programme. It will be making sure that the poorest in society will be much better off. Nobody will be worse off, they will be cash protected. But with £18 billion being cut, how can this be true? Well, unfortunately, it is too good to be true. From what he says, you might be forgiven for thinking that whatever people are getting today, they'll keep once universal credit starts. But in fact, it's only possible to match the current system and the new one by drastically cutting down current benefits and tax credits before the switchover is made. For example, by the time Universal Credit starts in 2013, a family with two children, where both adults work full-time for the minimum wage, will be over £2,700 a year worse off than they are right now. So, if no one is worse off when Universal Credit is introduced, this will only be because their incomes have already been cut. And there's another catch too. The promise is only there for current recipients at the time of change. It won't apply for people who find themselves on benefits after that date. Or if your circumstances change a week later, don't bank on being re-evaluated on the same generous terms. With Universal Credit, Ian Duncan Smith is making us a promise at the same time as telling us exactly how he's going to break it. Don't be taken in. Join with us and tell him that you too can see through the government's Universal Credit promise. Let's make them realise they aren't fooling anyone. Visit goingtowork.org.uk to take part now.